In this video, I'm going to show you razor editing in Quick Delete in Reaper. As you probably realize, razor editing is one of the quickest ways to edit inside Reaper, as you can quickly create an area, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and right drag to create a razor edit area, which we can delete, undo, cut, paste, or duplicate to the same track or other tracks very easily. Or we could do this on multiple tracks, not confined by the size of our items. So I can create one like this, delete it, duplicate it to a different area, cut it, paste it that easily. But at least for me, one of the most useful uses is to delete areas for cleaning up purposes, or just to get rid of that media. If I want to delete all these vocals, create a razor edit, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and right drag, and just delete this area. Or from cleaning up my drums, I can do it across all the drum tracks, right up to that first hit. And just delete it to clean up the drum tracks. Or my guitars, to clean up the space before they start playing. But the downside of this method is we need to hit the delete key each time. It could be quicker just to click our mouse. So if we go to our preferences, control P on the PC or command comma on the Mac, that opens up our preferences. And we could scroll down under editing behavior to mouse modifiers. And if we go to the context, raise the edit area and left click, we can see the default action is no action. So if we create a razor edit area and click, it does nothing. But we could change it. Double click and choose delete area contents. And now if we create a razor edit area, we can just click within it and it deletes those contents. So it's a bit quicker for cleaning up our tracks. Let's do our drums, go right to here, just click in the area and it deletes those drums. Do the same on my guitars, just click in the area to delete that area on those tracks. But if you notice, it leaves behind the razor edit, which isn't a big deal if we're doing it quickly. Create the area, just click, move on to the next one, and just keep clicking to delete those areas. But if it bothers you that it leaves behind the razor edit area, we can remove that with a custom action. Let's go back to our preferences, double click this, and go to the action list, go to find shortcut, let's hit delete. There's an action right here for deleting, which is gonna remove items within the razor edit area. We could use this to start a custom action right over here. Let's name it razor clear, and let's add Razor edit, clear all areas to this. Now it's gonna perform both when we click on that razor editing area. We'll save it and we'll assign it to the action list, type in razor to the filter and find that custom action. Double click it and it shows up as a mouse modifier. So now if we left click in the razor edit area, it's gonna perform both of those actions like this. Create a razor edit area, click in it, it deletes it, and also clears the razor edit area. Do it over here, click to delete it, and it's gone. Clean up our drums, just click in this area to clean up that area by quick deleting it, and also remove the razor edit area. Do the same over here for the bass and guitars, just click in it to delete that area. So it's a lot quicker. So just click without having to hit delete each time. It all happens just by clicking with our mouse or trackpad. This is also very useful and quick with ripple editing. Let's say we're editing a podcast or narration. We just click the ripple editing button. And now if we want to remove this narration, create a razor edit area, just click in it and it moves the other pieces over. 
and do the same thing for spaces. I'm gonna remove the space, just create this and click on it. Now that space is removed. This is also very useful if you wanna delete some bars. Let's say I wanna remove bar three to bar five, turn on the grid, create a razor edit from bar three to bar five all the way down. Just click in this area and it removed those bars before and after. Now, if you don't wanna hold down a modifier to create a razor edit, we could change how our modifiers work. Go back to our preferences, into mouse modifiers, and go to the context arrange view. Quick tip, just type A to go to the arrange view. On the right drag, and we can see by default, when we right drag without a modifier, it's gonna marquee select our items. We need to hold down both on the PC or option on the Mac to create razor edit areas. If we wanna swap that, we can hit this button right here and it swaps that functionality. So now by default, it's gonna create a razor edit area by just right dragging, no modifiers needed. So I can just right drag and create that razor edit area and just click to remove it. Or if you don't wanna right drag at all, we can left drag. Let's put this back and just hit this toolbar button. Now we can left drag to create our razor edits, just like this. And again, click on it to delete the contents and the razor edit area. So we can quickly clean up our drums by left dragging and clicking. Do the same with our bass and guitars, just clicking it, clean it up a bit more to delete those contents and those areas. So it's a bit quicker by left dragging instead of right dragging. This is also useful with ripple editing. Turn ripple editing on. And now if you want to ripple edit this vocal, just create a razor edit right here and click in it. And it razor edits and ripple edits this vocal. I want to delete this piece. I want to get rid of some space. Just click in it and it does it right away along with ripple editing. And we're done. Turn ripple editing off and turn razor editing off to get back to the default behavior. Although we can still click in this area to delete the contents and the area. So that's pretty much it. That's razor editing and quick delete in Reap. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.